<laughs> Whoops. Hey guys, I'm Michael Long for TravelCostaRicaNow.com. You know, this is a special video and it deserves a special shirt. I've had this shirt maybe four years. I've worn it in I think one other video, but, but this video makes me proud, you know, to be TravelCostaRicaNow.com. We're going to get to that in a second. Guys, I'm going to forego all that word travel agency, please subscribe stuff and get right into it because this video is the reason we started making videos in the very beginning. We wanted to offer you guys perspective, information, mostly tr through travel tips back then, and help you make a good decision. You know, where to go in Costa Rica, what to do, you know? And we did it all for free, man. That We just wanted to give out good information. Matter of fact, it's one of been our biggest problems for 13 years is monetization because, I don't know, we just, Gave out a lot of free information and we kind of still do, but you know, that's beside the point. So through the years, you know, we've amassed a lot of people that think like we do. We want to provide an honest service. We want to provide a transparent service. We, we want to get paid a little bit, but we want you to be happy with what you're doing. And if you're not happy, we're not happy. So what we try to do at TravelCoastRicaNow.com, me and D'Angelo a long time ago, is all our people that we surrounded ourselves with, the rental car people, the who do you buy a car from people, the immigration people, the import container people, the medical people, who this video is about, my boy Johnny, and you're going to see why he's the man in a second. But so... It took a long time. It's very hard in Costa Rica. If you don't live here, maybe you don't understand how hard it is to find kind of ethical, honest people here. I've gone through a couple real estate agents that I thought were really good. They end up being real estate agents. But now I've got the good real estate agents, the good real estate lawyer, and I feel really good about our, our uh, circle. So. When things like I'm about to tell you happen, I can't tell you, it just, I don't know, man. It makes your day, man. It totally makes your day. You know, these little things in this world of, you know, uh, spreading fear and, you know, bad stories, you know, this is kind of a nice one. So, you know, I know you guys know we get a lot of emails, right? We, we get a lot of emails. Matter of fact, I think a lot of you guys, when you write me, don't understand how many emails we actually get. And I'm the one that answers them, all of them. But when you're asking me a lot of questions in one email and you don't really show any love, it's kind of hard. I get so many, sometimes that gets pushed down. And sometimes, right, well, now I'm getting so many, I, I don't even get to some of them. So eh, I don't want to talk about that. Anyway, it, it doesn't matter. But anyway... I got this email about 10 days ago, and I'm going to read this word for word. This is not paraphrased, okay, at all. I need help. I have an emergency. Explanation point, explanation point, explanation point. I watch your channel for updates since my parents are living there in Costa Rica as perpetual tourists. Now, do you remember what perpetual tourists are? People that aren't residents here, they have to leave every 90 days, cross the border, come back you know, and you stay for another 90, but you do live here. I got friends have done it 15, 20 years. I did it for 12. You can do it, but you're not uh, literally a resident. So they're perpetual tours. My dad is retired military and has Medicare and TRICARE. He fell and busted his knee and needs a replacement. He doesn't have co he doesn't have CAHA. Now, CAHA is a socialized medicine here that the people, the citizens, residents of Costa Rica, like me, pay into the CAHA to get the socialized medicine. So he doesn't have CAHA, but he is married to a Costa Rican. But not aware, but she's not aware of the system since she's been living in the US for so long. So apparently, I don't know how long they've been here, what their situation is, but she's just not used to dealing with the CAHA and doesn't really know how it works. Doctors are charging them lots of money and can't, and can't do surgery until 14 days from now, and he can't leave the hospital. Do you know any military person that could guide me through this? Does my mom's caha cover him? I am so lost. He can't talk because he's drugged. I'm a mess here. That's it. That's what she wrote. And I'm like, ugh. You know, I, I can answer kind of pretty basic questions about insurance and stuff, but I don't feel comfortable with it. So who, do, who, who am I thinking about? I'm thinking about my guy, Johnny. Johnny's the, Johnny's the man in the medical, the dental, the stem cell, the implants, the lipo, all of it. He's my guy. Now, 
Johnny Don't Get Mad. You know, I made some videos with Johnny. He's not, he's not the best in front of the camera. You know, that's not what he does. He'll get in front of the camera, but I'm telling you, he is a lion and the man on the other side of the camera, man. He's got connections. He knows people. He knows the best doctors. He knows these people. He knows those people. He has connections in the United States. He is the man and he is my go-to guy. So all I did was I didn't answer her. I didn't answer. Her. I just forwarded it to Johnny and said, can you help? Now, I didn't know this at the time. I didn't know this at the time, but he literally, I saw the, I saw the email almost right when it came in. And I, I, when I forwarded it, he literally answered it minutes, minutes later and got a hold of her. So what he did when he found out the father was a veteran, Johnny is also a veteran. So he's like, man, I'm a brother helping another brother. So when they were going, well, how much are you charging for this? He's like, don't worry about this. We got to get your dad right. Now, Johnny worked with them for five, six straight days, text messages, talking to the United States, because what was the problem was, was is the Caja, what's the Caja going to do? Or is it the veterans insurance? Is the United States going to pay? Who's going to pay? He was sitting in a terrible hospital, by the way. Now, I'm not going to tell you everything. I'm not going to tell you everything. But what I would like you to do now, I know a lot of you guys watch these uh, by the phone, but I'm going to put, she, okay, this is, it's over now, basically. So the daughter wrote a review about this whole situation, starting with me and then going into what was going on and what Johnny did. It's about two paragraphs. I'm going to put it exactly what she wrote in the description. It is worth reading. I actually almost started tearing up at parts of it because it was, you know, it's just so nice to see people helping people. So uh, I think you should uh, read that and you can kind of see kind of what Johnny actually did. He went, <laughs> he went so far above and beyond. Now, I don't want to tell you exactly what happened, although he is good and he did get his surgery. I'm literally, today is uh, Thursday. This video will be up in the morning. I'm literally going tomorrow to a, a little Tico town called Upala, where this guy, he, he, uh, he came out of the hospital a couple days ago, and I guess he lives there or something. I'm going to be interviewing him, and we're going to be going into a lot more detail about this whole situation and what happened to him and, and kind of do a little bit deeper dive and give some people information about a little bit how the Kaha works, what happens if you're a veteran, I mean, all those things. So we're going to be talking about that. Matter of fact, while you're watching this video, having your coffee, I will be talking to him at the moment you're sipping, listening to this. So it might be worth checking out. I think it's gonna be pretty informative uh, as well. I don't know, man. It was, uh, you know, it's really nice, you know, when it all works, it all comes together. You know, I'm just so proud of my guy, Johnny. You know, I, I feel so good about him being, you know, in circle. And, and not only is he in the circle, I mean, we're friends actually. So, you know, it's really nice that he could, you know, he could help these people when they were panicked. And he literally, I don't know, man, if he could have, well, I can't really help you. I don't really deal with, you know, the United States stuff, but I don't know. So uh, it's going to be an interesting story. So anyway, what was I going to say? You know, I'm sweating so bad here. I have to turn off things so that you don't pick them up and I'm, whew. All right, guys. So I'm Michael Allen, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps. You know, this, you know, things are going to pop up. And if you're thinking about living or traveling anywhere, you should always do your homework and research. And you should check out our videos. And this is exactly why, man. This is exactly why you should check out our videos. All right? <laughs> Peace, guys. Hope it helps.